Hey guys, this is Captain Daniel Hyun from ABC's Attraction, and today we're gonna talk about how to deal with your approach anxiety in a physical way. What are you actual drills that you could do when you enter that venue and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling anxious. What to do at that moment so you could get ready for AA and do what you're supposed to do. So tip number one, before you go into the venue, you should have a routine. What I do is this, I'll be honest, I jump on a trampoline, okay? I jump on a trampoline and I say affirmation. I, I get myself in the zone. And I also watch these Victoria's Secret videos where you know those videos where the Victoria's Secret models are like singing to the song? I actually watch that to get myself in state. Like, oh my God, beautiful women, get myself positive, I could do this. So I prepare myself, I get myself in state. Also, I get my hair, I shower, get ready, I have my clothes all ready to go. So basically, I, ha I don't use a lot of mental energy. I already have my routine set up, I just get it done, and I know it's like preparing for a battle or preparing for a sport. You're getting yourself ready to go out and get it done. Tip number two. Get yourself in a social mood. Either talk to your brothers or sisters who are living in your house, or if you're living by yourself, call a friend. Call a friend, get social. Just be like, hey man, especially if it's your wingman, tell him, hey, I feel really nervous right now, I'm anxious, I haven't talked to anyone for a day. Let's have a quick conversation and just talk, okay? Or if you live with roommates, just have like a talk with your roommates. Just get in a sociable mood, get yourself in the zone, all right? All right, tip number three, okay? So what we do as human beings is we get motivated by either pleasure or pain. So one thing I do is that I tell my wingman that there has to be some pain associated if I don't approach. So for me, it's money. I tell him, if I don't approach, I'm gonna give you 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Or one thing I do is I actually get physical cash of like $10 bills, like 10 of them, and I give it to my uh, wingman and he would give me the $10 back after each approach I do. So one approach equals $10, so I get that back. Or sometimes I wanna reward myself. So if I say, hey, I'm gonna do 20 approaches, I reward myself, I'm gonna have a victory day, which is like a cheat meal day where I eat ice cream or whatever food I love. Or I said I'm gonna buy a favorite clothes of mine or a video game, right? I reward myself for doing what I said I was gonna do. Oh, hey, so here's the thing. When I talked about the three physical drills you could do to handle approach anxiety, what if you were in the venue already and you can't, you weren't prepared, you're like, oh man, I totally forgot to do my routine, whatever. How do you do it in a venue? So this is a mall, so this is probably more day game. But let's say you're at a mall and you're like, man, I didn't do an approach, I didn't prepare for it. Because one thing about game is you wanna make it natural, you wanna make it a part of your life. So how do you do it in, let's say, a mall? So the first thing was what? Get into your physical body, do a set of routine. So one of the things I told you is that I jump on a trampoline to get my heart racing and to get ready for my body to be in the zone. So one thing you could do is like a meditation that I do. Um, it's called the four Ps. And it's a credit to my friend that I learned in Korea when I was learning how to do pickup in Korea where he told me this. So the four Ps are one, posture. So I stand up, I do my Superman pose. So most of our alumni would know this, you do the Superman pose, right? shoulders back and you get your posture and then presence right so the quick thing I do about presence is I wiggle my toes so right now in my shoes I'm wiggling my toes and feeling the ground I'm like okay I feel the ground right it's kind of a meditation tactic but it's just being present to the moment okay I'm present I'm at a mall I'm maybe like feeling my fingers too I go like this to feel my fingers or do my toes presence right so posture presence and positivity this is huge guys when you go approach don't assume that you'll get rejected. Like you don't know the answer. It's a 50-50 chance of she rejects you or she's receptive. So be very positive. So positivity is the first one. And four is uh, P-U-S-S-Y. Basically, focus on the women, right? You're still gonna approach women just like you said. Focus on the women. Know your goal is to approach very, very gorgeous women and ha possibly meet your next girlfriend. So that's something I do right in the moment, four piece, right? It's something to get into my body, sometimes I just shake it out. I'm like, I'm literally in the mall, I'm doing this right now. I'm just shaking it out. All right, let's go, let's do this. Jump up and down and then I do like three quick affirmations. Like, hey, okay, I'm enough. I'm confident, I'm attractive. So I do these affirmations like under my breath if you feel like this, but, but I wanna do it in public. I want, no one cares, everyone's just walking past me anyways. So I get myself in the zone, I feel good, right? So that's one thing you can do for the first drill. Second, let's say, you know, you're like, man, I'm not really gonna talk in a mood. So I literally go to my phone and I call. But what if nobody picks up? You know what I do? I call it the machine gun approach. I approach 
anybody in my vicinity and be like, hey, that's a really cool shirt. Hey, do you know where the near Zara is? Hey, do you know where the Urban Outfitters is? Hey, do you know where the near Starbucks is? So I just do quick three approaches to anyone, guy, girl, anything where I just make an approach so I get myself in a social mood because one thing you realize is one of these people that you approach, they might start a conversation with you. You could do a conversation, just start a conversation with a random person. It doesn't always have to be a beautiful woman because you want to warm up to that set. You're getting yourself in the field. It's like it's like going to a, a like a sports game when you're not warming up your muscles. You don't just jump right in and try to, you know, play the game right off the bat. You warm up, you do a little practice here and there. So I would just actually approach anybody behind me and be like, hey, what's your name? Hey, you have a really cool shirt on. Hey, those shoes are sick. Where'd you get those? So that's a quick social mood, right? Especially if your friend doesn't pick up, your wingman's not there. Third tip I gave you guys was reward and punishment. Guys, you're at a mall. So what I would do when I'm at a mall is I would tell, I would tell myself, okay, I'm gonna do 10 approaches and then I get to do what I want. 10 might be a little too much for you guys, so maybe start slow. Just do, I'm gonna do three just approaches, compliment, make someone's day, and then I'm gonna go shopping. So usually you guys come and plan on like sometimes you come to the mall to just go shopping or to go eat so before you do anything be like tell your friends hey I'm gonna do three approaches and then I'm gonna go eat so make it like a reward thing it's like I'm gonna go eat after I do it so it becomes habitual so every time you go to mall oh before I do anything my what I was set to do you just go approach somebody or you do what you set out to do go get a number and here's the thing you know what's amazing when you do this and you just do your three approaches and then all of a sudden you say your last approach is gonna be a girl, you approach her and then you end up going on an instant with her and eat with her because you can literally say, hey, I was about to go eat, wanna join me? Boom, done, you have an instant date right there. Whatever you gotta do, there's always ways in any environment to create something. These three tips you could do anywhere, anywhere. In the mall, in a nightclub, in a bar, and on the road, you could do this anywhere, guys. Thanks for watching our video, I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too, every Monday we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.